Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. We're on day 10 of Hidden Figures, and today's Hidden Figure is one that's been highly, highly, highly requested, super requested. So for all of you that uh, requested Victoria Cruz, as you can see, I saw your requests, and today's Hidden Figure is Victoria Eugenia Santa Cruz Gamera, who was an Afro-Peruvian choreographer, composer, and activist born October 27th, 1922, died August 30th, 2014, so she just died relatively recently. Uh, Victoria Santa Cruz is called the mother of Afro-Peruvian dance and theater. Along with her brother, Nicomita Santa Cruz, she is credited as significant in a revival of Afro-Peruvian culture in the 1960s and 70s. They both came from a long line of artists and intellectuals, and for her part, she is said to have had Afrocentrism influences in her view of dance, trying to discover ancestral memory of African forms. She helped to found the Cumanana, I hope I said that right, dance group and theater company. Cruz was born in Lima, Peru to Nicomita's Santa Cruz Aparicio and Victoria Gamera. Her mother spoke only Spanish and loved to dance, while her father, who was sent to the United States at the age of six and returned when he was 35, spoke impeccable English. He taught Victoria and her brother English by having them read Shakespeare, and he also played them Italian operas, including Wagner and Puccini. Cruz grew up immersed in music, dance, and literature, and started working on stage with the group Cumanana in 1958, along with her younger brother, Nicomita Santa Cruz, who was a famous poet. In addition to classical music and writings, Cruz was also very interested in Black American and West African culture, dancing the Charleston and researching the ties between Africa and Peru. This led to her becoming one of the major players in the revival of Afro-Peruvian culture and Afrocentrism in Peru that took place during the 1960s and 70s. Under the direction of Cruz and her brother, theatrical productions reconnected Black Peruvians with their African past, inspired by African independence movements and Black rights movements in America and abroad. She received a scholarship by the French government and traveled to Paris to study choreography. Here, she succeeded as the creator and designer of the wardrobe for the play, who I hope I pronounced this right, El Retablo de Don Cristobal by Federico Garcia Lorca. Back in Peru, she founded the dance company Teatro y Danzas Negras del Peru, with whom she presented many shows in national theaters and television. This group also represented Peru in the festivities for the occasion of the Olympic Games in Mexico, 1968, where they received a medal and diploma for their work. Later, in 1969, she left on a tour to different cities in the United States, and when she came back to Lima in May, she was named director of the Centro de Arte Folclorico, today Escuela de Folklore. In the first festival and Latin American seminary of television organized by Catholic University of Chile in 1970, she won the award for Best Folklorist, and the next year she was invited by the government of Colombia to participate in the Festival of Cali. She participated as the scene director for the first Black Art Festival of Peru in 1971. And I also want to say that Cruz drew heavily on this idea of ancestral memory, which is that um, basically all of us uh, Black descendants of chattel slavery and those of us especially that came from West Africa that we have what they call ancestral memories or memories that are still inside our bodies and inside our subconscious and what she really tried to do was tap into that and in in her dance in her you know her choreography in her musical compositions as well as in poetry and just really tried to reconnect the culture of where she, you know we are now. So for her, that would be her Peruvian culture with this ancestral memory. Really, really, really uh, interesting work that she was doing. And of course, as always, there will be links in the description box. So in addition to her choreography and music composition, Cruz was also a poet with one of her most well-known works being Mi Gritaron Negra, or They Called Me Black, which is a poem that follows Santa Cruz's journey to accept and embrace her blackness. It starts out with her telling the story of how, at a very young age, people started to shout negra, or the Spanish word for black, at her on the street everywhere she went, similar to Ruth Hernandez. 
This shamed her into straightening her hair and wanting to lighten her skin, but eventually she realized the beauty of her blackness and that the truth of this beauty was being hidden from her. And this is actually a fairly famous poem. Uh, if you look it up, there are tons of um, videos of young Afro-Latinx, especially little girls, reciting it. And you can also find video clips of Victoria Cruz herself reciting it. I will include some links in the description box, but please feel free to look it up for yourselves and to read it for yourselves. Um, it is in Spanish, so if you don't speak Spanish, you might need an English translation. The link that I'm going to post in the description box of Victoria Cruz performing it herself also does have English subtitles if you want to check um, that out. Cruz died in 2014 at the age of 91 in her native Peru. And the quote that I want to read you guys was actually a quote that she gave uh, during a magazine interview where they asked her a little bit about the backstory that led to her writing the poem, They Called Me Black. And the quote is as follows. I had a little group of friends and I was the only black one. One day there was a little girl among them with blonde hair and she immediately said, if the little black girl wants to play with us, I'll leave. And I thought, who is she? She had just arrived and was already dictating the law. What a surprise it was when my friends told me, you can leave, Victoria. I said, what? It was to suffer something very important. I have written a small book in Spanish and English in which I say that suffering hides the door. The secret is not to leave, but to go through it. I was little, and when I saw that my friends rejected me, I left, but I never forgot. I never forgot the importance of suffering. I asked myself, who suffers and why? And other feelings began to emerge. I never told my father or my mother. It was something that I had to taste and discover for myself. That girl stimulated something in me without knowing so, and I came to discover what it means to stand on your feet. I began to discover life. The enemy lives at home. And nowadays, it is difficult for someone to insult me because of the things life has taught me. Victoria Cruz, A Hidden Figure. Highly requested. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. See you tomorrow. Hidden Figures.